there everyone, it's Anthony back with another video here on Single and Placing. Hi, I hope you're having a fantastic day, weekday, weekend, week, month, <laughs> evening, overnight, morning, all of that good stuff. And don't forget to leave in the comments how things are going for you. Um, today we have a finish and reveal and if you've been following along with um, my vlogs and those types of things, you probably know which kit this is. You might already be able to see a little bit of it through the back of the canvas. Um, but yeah, this is my most recent finish. Um, I just finished this, uh, this afternoon. I did a little bit of a late night diamond painting session, um, the night before, uh, or last night. And then, so as soon as work was done this afternoon, I actually only had one section left and I was able to crank through it pretty fast. So we've got a finish and we've got a reveal and a review. So, um, let's get right to it without further ado. Let's take a look at Cozy Evening from Diamond Art Club and Abraham Hunter. All right, so there we have it, Cozy Evening from Abraham Hunter and Diamond Art Club. This is a 96 by 70 centimeter square drill canvas with 56 colors. So there it is. Da, 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 da. This, is, this has been a project that has been a long time running. I kept putting it aside to work on other stuff and then coming back to it, but I really wanted to finish this because it's a gift for my aunt and I'll be seeing her at our family reunion this August. So I kind of wanted to get it done and out of the way. That way I could start focusing on um, maybe some other whips or just kind of get prepped for summer with the masters and not worry about rushing to get this kit done in August before the family reunion. So it's all done. It's all done. Um, as far as my starts for, um, or when I started this kit, I started it in, um, on October 4th of last year. So it took a little over six months to get, finally get this a hundred percent done, but I'd say I got about this much of it done probably like right here, just in the past like month. So it took me about five months to get half, about halfway through. And then I did the rest within a month or so. Um, I just had to focus on it and make it my, you know, my full-time whip. But I love the way this looks at a distance, even though this isn't particularly my style of artwork, it really came together well. And I, it's such a beautiful landscape. I love the color scheme. I love the depth and dimension that this artwork provides. And the fact that Diamond Art Club was able to render that through in diamond painting form is really cool. So what, now that it's all done, I love it. it it's it's an excellent color scheme. It's gonna look gorgeous hung up. I, I think she's planning on hanging it. Um, so I'm just gonna paint the borders for her, roll it up, put it in a, a storage, um, like a canister thing or a tube and save it for her to uh, take a look at when she gets here. So um, yeah, a couple of things to note as far as like pros. It's a Diamond Art Club kit, so there's a lot to like here. You've got those great, excellent quality resin drills. It was charted with, um, I think, two ABs, but we'll talk about some other adjustments I made. Um, they fit together really well, minimal gapping. Really, the only gapping is from just my placement, but it all just came, to get, came together really, really well. Um, simple clarity, just fine. Um, tons of sheen and sparkle from these drills, and it's just awesome. It's a Diamond Art Club kit. The quality and the consistency are always there and I had a lot of fun working on this. I would say when I first started, because it's not necessarily my style of artwork, I it was a little slow going because I was just like, ah. Uh, but once I started to get into some of these deeper blues here, I kind of really liked working in this particular section. And there was less colors pretty much here over because we weren't dealing with the reds and the browns and the line blocking of the grays. So this, the last kind of couple columns here really moved quickly because there's just fewer colors. But um, yeah, I think it looks really good. I hope she likes it. This was definitely 
um, you know, a, a labor of love, but it, I think it turned out really, really well. So um, I will um, end by just kind of commenting on some additions that I made. I'm not going to hold the canvas up to you because this is a big one. So we're just going to call them out. There's not too much going on here, but I did include some metallic drills. Hopefully you can see those. Um, some metallic drills on the horse's reins through here. These are from Diamond Dots and they're just a silver metallic. And then I also did um, kind of like a light orange or light brown crystal in the framing inside the windows just to give them a little bit of glisten. Um, I kind of did that randomly. I started doing it over here in this house and then I just kept it going throughout. So I think it looks fine. I don't know if I do it again, but it just adds a little a little touch of something here. So you have just a few here and then in the crop, the like the the uh, crisscross through here um, on the windows. And then the very last um, addition that I did is here on either of these bows on these garlands, they have just a few glitter drills from Mooney Made. Um, oh, these crystals are from DP with Sparklers. And then um, from Mooney Made, these are a red glitter drill. It's not on all of the garland, but just on the secondary color within that garland. Um, Am I lying to you? Is there one more? Oh, there is one more. Okay, sorry. Final one, fourth enhancement. I did some um, brown or like, uh, yeah, like a deeper brown crystal here in the sleigh's tracks just because I was like, oh, maybe they're kind of metallic or having a sheen from being in the snow. So it's just those lines of that color um, on the tracks or the... Um, what the skates of the sled, um, I put that kind of brown crystal there. So a total of four enhancement drills total. So um, yeah, and, and that's aside from the two ABs, but I think the AB placement here, the rendering, the charting, everything looked great. You can see the sparkliness of the icicles was all done in AB here, a little bit here in the, um, the snow that's coming out across the path, and then a little bit where the sun's just kind of hitting on the path on either side, and then a little bit up there in the sky. So um, yeah, I absolutely love this. I think it was, it looks beautiful now that it's all done, even though it's not particularly my cup of tea as far as theming and, um, and focal point. I just really love this end, end result and it makes me kind of want to potentially get started on another landscape sooner than later. Um, this is my first kind of, yeah, I think this is like my first landscape piece and I was a little worried about how I'd like it but it just turned out awesome and I can't wait to give it to her. I know she's gonna love it. Whoops, I just yanked a, yanked a drill off, hold on. Um, but yeah, it, it's gonna, um, it's making me want to grab, I have a few other landscapes from a couple different artists, but specifically Abraham Hunter. Um, I have Sedona Majesty, which I'm really excited to get to and then I have I think one or two more and so this was my very first one I was like I really hope I like this because I've invested in larger square drill landscapes from Diamond Art Club already and lo and behold I really did enjoy it so I can't wait to pick out another one possibly sooner than later um, so stay tuned for that but this is Cozy Evening from Diamond Art Club and Abraham Hunter this is a 96 by 70 centimeter square drill canvas 56 uh, colors, two ABs included in the kit. I added four additional enhancements, two crystals, one glitter, one metallic. And I believe, let me see which finish this is for me. Hang on just a second. This is going to be finish number seven of the year for me. Um, and this is my 25th finish overall. So yeah. Super excited to go ahead and put this in the logbook. I'm gonna paint the borders this evening, let those dry up and store this away for my aunt. If I can remember in a future vlog um, closer to the family reunion or during the family reunion, I will try to film her um, uh, opening this up to get her reaction. So be on the lookout. You might see this kid again um, sometime in August as part of a vlog. So I'm gonna kind of stow it away until then. But let me know what you think. Is this your style of artwork? Do you like the way that this came together? Would you make any edits or changes to the colors or any add any special drills, anything like that? Um, and or, or also maybe you've already done this one. So make sure to let me know if this is already in your 
um, your finishes. So um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share this content with friends, family members, anyone that you think might take some value out of this content. Otherwise, happy placing, and we'll see you next time. Bye! 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 Bye!